What's going on guys? Welcome back to a brand new video. Today we're going to be back iRacing at the NASCAR Chicago Street Course. Today we're going to be racing with NASCAR Craftsman Truck Series driver Chris Hacker. And once again, we're going to cross our fingers and hope we don't all die going into turn number one. Subscribe if you're digging the content and let's go ahead and jump into it. As most competitors are just scared to sign up this week, this is a one split lobby. So the talent level is going to be absolutely everywhere. We qualified in position number nine. I feel like this is a safe place to be, but we got to watch out for dive bombers going in a certain one. Base score is about to be hitting pit road. Am I nervous? Absolutely. Now, there seems to be little to no tire wear this week, meaning we can push the score 100% from start to finish as long as we can hang on to it. Here we go, boys. Uh, turn number 12, and we're going to set them loose down the front straight. Okay, let's take it very easy going into turn number one. Let's get up there, boys. They're going to fire off early. I think we can gain a position going into one. Put it up a P8 as we're going to go ahead and knock it up a fourth gear, man. Got to be careful because there's going to be some dive bombs, and we center in a little bit hot, but we're going to keep it off car number 10. I don't know if they're going to keep them off everyone in front of us. Put it up a P7. Almost three wide right there. We smoke the tires in a one. They're smoking the tires ahead of us, boys. We got to dial in. Be calm. Be smart. There's a long way to go. Let's just get up on the wheel and see what we can do, man. This is one of my favorite corners, but it sure is edgy with the B-class car. We're going to knock it all the way down to second gear. A lot of tire smoke here in front of us. That means everyone's locking up the tires. We're going to carry a lot of momentum, and we're catching the guys in front of us. Almost hit that inside wall right there. It got tight, man. This is one of the longest straightaways of the course, and we're going to hold her wide open. Let's back it down early. The brake markers are extremely off. You never follow them, man. They are way too late. One of the slowest parts of the track is right here. This is where mistakes are going to get made. Mainly just when drivers getting greedy or too aggressive. Watching. Whoa, here we go, boys. He got sideways. Car number eight is going to try to save it. I don't know if he's going to, man. He's just chopped car number 10 right there. I'm getting aggressive trying to gain these two positions as they're getting caught up racing each other. Let's dial it back a little bit. Here comes the double zero to my inside. Almost hit the inside wall right there. And we may be side by side. I don't know if we're going to hang on to it. It appears we are. And somehow, some way, we are going to complete lap number one. I feel like we got some speed here today, man. It may be a top five run as long as we can hang on to it. Sorry guys, man. But we are holding up strong in the eighth position. I hope it will be a top 10 run here today, man. I really feel like it can be as long as we don't beat ourselves here. Oh boy, almost got into the wall, but we're gonna hold it. We got a wreck ahead. There's a slow car ahead. Let's see if they're off the track. I don't know if they're going to be. The track appears to be clean at the moment as I'm still seeing smoke fly here in front of me. So now that there's a pack of cars up there, the question is if they continue racing, can we run them down? Because I highly believe that we'll be able to. I mean, you see us catching them right now. And right here, he's gonna get to my outside. I believe I'm gonna give it to him because anytime I step up my pace, I start wheel hopping and I don't wanna be in that position. So let's tuck in directly behind him. We're going to put it down to position number nine. Slow car ahead. We got another one wrecking. It's a smoke cloud. Oh, boy. The 10 core. That is a terrible place to be stopped. That may stack a lot of them in. That's for sure. Khalid bought me dinner first. Got a slow car on the left. Yo, another one went off track. He just missed his corner. Put it up a P8. This is the part of the race where we're seeing guys beat their self and run into the wall. You can't really go off track here, but you can hit the wall and damage the car just as easily. 
We have been so fortunate to not hit the wall all week. But P7, after we got more competitors wiping themselves out, 10 laps remaining. We're right there on the verge of getting a top five. If there can just be a little bit more trouble, oh boy, we're gonna hold it. He's gonna get to my inside right there. And unfortunately, I believe he's gonna clear me off turn number two. I got the momentum across him over if I want to, but this is a high speed portion of the track. Accidentally got into his rear bump. I think he had trouble getting out of gear right there. So let's see if we can close that gap, man. I'm definitely sending it in a lot deeper than he is all the way down to second gear. You can see it right there. Just how much we gained there on entry and how much we're gaining here on exit. See if we can force him into a mistake. Whoa, and we just did right there, man. He just slapped the outside wall. Oh, he's really pushing it, trying to gain that time back. Dead sideways off turn number 10. And now behind me, the pressure is mounting. I almost got the bumper that time by. I'm reporting that. Go ahead. I was hard on the brake, bro. I didn't even mean to then watch the replay from my cockpit. He's going to lock him up. Is he going to get the wall this time? Almost got it right there. He's going to hang on to it. And here comes car number 13 to my inside. I don't think he's going to commit to the pass right now. This is not a good passing opportunity. But once again, I'm super strong through here. Second gear. We closed the gap last time by. Can we do it this time by? Whoa, we just got hit, boys. We just got hit. I told you, it's getting hot around here. Tempers are rising. He's going to go for the pass here, going into one. Will he be able to outbreak me this time? He's going to try to commit, but we both sent it in very deep. I don't know if he's going to make the corner. We maybe will cross him over right here, and he's going to make it. Looking at my rear bumper, he did some damage with that hit, man. He raised my spoiler, so I don't know how bad that's going to hurt me. Here comes the three. He's going to go for a dive bomb, and he's going to throw that baby in. We're going to hold his outside. I doubt my pace down. We're slow and steady right now. But that is what's gaining me time. I mean, we're all the way there. Just can we get back around it? Gonna be three to go with the line, boys. Three to go. We're battling for position number nine. I definitely don't want to lock up the tires and wheel hop into him. So I'm being very careful with that. This is my portion of the track right here. He knows it. You've seen him lock up the tires slightly. I think we're gonna have one more shot at car number three as we're approaching the white flag. This time by from Chicago. One deep dive through here, man. We're gonna keep it clean. We're tracking in the green right now. Let's see if we can get to him, boys. I'm just counter steering because the track is so slick. Final shot through turn number 10. Let's see if we can get to him, boys. We may be able to in turn number 11. We're to his rear bumper. Can we set up anything? Maybe I can fake him out or make him think I'm going to dive bomb him right here. We're going to send it in pretty deep. We are there, boys, all the way to his rear bumper. It's unfortunately not going to be enough, but it is going to be position number 10 at the line as it's nothing but wheel spin coming to the flag. How about that one? That race was a blast. I had so much fun. Once again, normally I don't enjoy these road courses that much, but I had a blast in this one. Going through some of the crashes here post-race, it appears this one was a bit of a wreck fest, a bit of a demo derby. I think this is similar to what we're going to see this weekend. I think we're going to get a lot of action, but I think it's going to be a disaster. I'd like to thank my Patreon members who I go iRacing with every Friday night for Season 4 of the DLBTV Racing League. The schedule is on the screen now. Also, Shout out to my Patreon VIP members, CHTV, Christian Elliott, Derek Dorsey, Joshua Kane, Sanquez Gregory, Timothy Stubblefield, Toe Maters, and Tyler Wark for supporting the channel. And I'll catch you guys in the next video.